gather round the shoveled ones and welcome to cherry pop today we're going to see maxine in 2022 x was one of my favorite movies i watched the whole year i thought pearl was fine but not as fine as x was what am i going to think about maxine let's find out i've got my pop and i'm ready to watch we are all who we are and we all have our own taste we all have our own likes and dislikes we we all go into a movie with our own boxes that we want to check i mean can we agree on that we don't agree on everything we definitely don't agree on what's good and what's bad because basically you know it's all just a matter of opinion right let's talk about my history a little bit with this franchise I don't know if you have watched my Cherry Pop 4X or not. Spoiler, I loved it. Uh, I didn't go into X knowing anything really about the movie. I seen the trailer for X and I knew I loved Ty West. That's, that's all I really knew. I went into the movie, I watched that movie, and I absolutely loved it. Okay, so now on to Pearl. I went into Pearl with what I wanted. I had the boxes that I wanted checked. I thought Pearl was okay. It was fun. You know, I liked it. I mean, there were there were parts of Pearl like, you know, Mia Goth, she really shined in Pearl. But to be honest, I'm not going to lie to you, it, it disappointed me in a way. It didn't really feel my boxes, you know, like X did. And I know a lot of people are going to go out there and they're going to say, oh, X was, you know, sucked, but Pearl was good or X was just okay. And that's fine because we all have our own opinions, you know? So on to Maxine. I go in thinking, I hope I like it better than I liked Pearl. Pearl. And I did like it more than I liked Pearl. And damn it, I liked it more than I did X. This movie filled my boxes. I mean, I think going back to watch this movie, I watching it with X, that's going to be a, a pretty damn good double feature. But you know what? I think watching this movie with like Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is going to be a damn good double feature too. I think they're both like the love letters to to Hollywood. I think I think you know love letters maybe I mean maybe like a Hollywood ode, right? This movie definitely has that in spades. This movie, you know, it's a love letter to Hollywood, 80s Hollywood. It's a love letter to like horror. It's a love letter to like VHS horror, you know, theatrical horror, 80s horror, you know. This this is, has a love letter to giallo. This movie rocked i absolutely love it uh if i was gonna star rate it or in my case pop rate it five pops if you remember x only got four pops in a stick I i'm still unpacking it but i mean right now i'm blown away i will be seeing it again this weekend kevin bacon in it was fucking awesome mia awesome ty west directing just phenomenal i just absolutely loved it it uh it had exploding heads it had exploding other parts um, don't want to give it away. Yeah, you know, like, like I said, you know, not only did it have that Giallo vibe, it also even had a slasher vibe, you know. It, it just, it, 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 it filled a lot of my boxes. Rock and roll, man. You had 80s pop. It, uh, it really had that 80s vibe really good. Uh, there was one scene in it where something on screen happened and the music kicked in and... And I'm not gonna lie, man. Someone was coming out on a on a on a on a on a gurney, right? Uh, that's all I'm gonna say. I could feel the pickle bumps on my arms. I I had chills, man. This movie gave it to me. Is everybody gonna feel that way? No, of course not. You know, uh, just like everybody f doesn't feel the same about X or Pearl. We all have our own, you know, taste. Let me know down in the comments. Uh, did you see Maxine? Uh, what, do you think that Maxine in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood would have a decent uh, uh, double feature? I, I honestly do. I I look forward to popping in the Blu-ray or even 4K if they give us a 4K of this. And, you know, then popping in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. 
it's it's gonna be it's gonna be magical I, I really feel it just like popping in x and watching this right after it's gonna be amazing too i do want to say this ign fuck off stop reviewing movies okay just stop i've been saying this for a while stick to your video games okay something you kind of know something about i'm i'm tired of seeing your movie reviews and your tv show reviews i'm just done i'm over it you know i'm gonna treat you like dread central and just fucking unfollow you okay enough about that please let me know down in the comments did you see maxine this weekend did you like it and as always stay spooky and keep it disheveled